Hi and welcome everybody to the Uncanny X-Men. My name is Philip Tanzer, better known as Logan McCree. And today I want to talk a little bit about my life based on a question that I received on Twitter by one of my followers. And the question was if I grew up with my mom and my dad and how my childhood was. So yes, I was the sec or I am the second born son to um, a dentist and my mom she was working for my dad like doing the office work um, for his yeah for his praxis and um, we lived in a pretty big house an old house but pretty big uh, and my mom's parents were living in the house as well taking care of us and we also had a nanny so we weren't poor my Parents were pretty well off. My father was working a lot, so we didn't spend too much time with him. He and when he came home after work in the evening, he was uh, tired and he preferred to read um, articles and stuff like that. And my grandfather, he was running a company. My grandma and my mom, they were at home most of the time. My mom working in the office at home. And we also had the, the nanny. I would say that I was closest to uh, my nanny, which was great. She was uh, a lovely person um, and I actually got engaged with her as a little child. Um, so we were very close. Uh, my mom and I, we were also very close and I had a good connection to my grandparents. Um, my father and I, we were never very close, I think. I always thought it was due to um, different personalities, but uh, just two years ago, I, I, yeah, my my dad told me that it wasn't just that he actually listened to a radio show uh, when I just had born had been born. Uh, the radio show was about the fact that firstborns can really suffer when they have a younger sibling and all the attention goes towards the younger sibling and my that was the case in our family because i was quite cute and very friendly and my brother was very shy so my dad was afraid that my brother wouldn't get enough attention so he gave he focused on my brother and kind of ignored me to a certain extent and I was very close to my mom anyways uh, but that created um, a weird dynamic so I was very close to my mom my brother was uh, very close to my dad and um, it was okay for our childhood because obviously we had we had our mom our dad and the grandparents were there and we both got on really well with the grandparents and the nanny was there I would say that I got on a bit better with our nanny but then um, when I was around 10 years old our mom she left the family uh, and that was based because my mom and my dad, they were very, very different characters. My mom, she really liked to go out and, and meet people and go to parties and stuff like that. And my father, he was very quiet. He didn't really like to be in public and interact with people. And he preferred to work in the garden and read um, like newspapers and articles and things like that. And I think my mom felt trapped in the relationship or in the family life and she expected more of life and she um she had uh, a relationship with a guy while she was still with my dad um so she had this affair and then that like in the end my dad found out which wasn't actually my, my father he's not a jealous person he was a little bit hurt but he didn't make a drama or anything but in the end my mom she left the family uh, for a, a south african weapon dealer and he was a bit like he yeah he was a weapon dealer and kind of a spy person working for the old government for the apartheid government and um so that must have been quite thrilling for her and she chose that um, dangerous exciting lifestyle over the family life and around that time also or a little bit later my grandparents they moved away because we 
moved out of the big house that we were living in into a smaller flat and my grandparents moved back to where they um, originally came from. So it was at this point, it was just my dad, my brother and me and the nanny to a certain extent. And because I wasn't very close to my dad, um, I was at that point, I was pretty much left on my own to a certain extent. I have to say my dad did a very, very good job being a father. He was not a good dad, but he was a very good father. He was looking after us, um, made sure that we had everything and he didn't neglect me at all, but there was no emotional connection, I would say. And he wasn't very interested in the things that I was interested in. And I, I really tried to reach out sometimes and, and show him, oh, that's why I love Alice Cooper. And that's why I love horror movies. That's why I love this. But my father just, yeah, wasn't interested in, in that. And I can't really blame him. Um, but I it I definitely needed a stronger father figure, somebody that I could connect to. And, and I wasn't close to my brother either. My brother didn't really like me and thought I was quite disgusting. Um, and I, for example, we, we went to tennis training and I immediately kind of like attached myself to the tennis teacher and we went on holiday. Uh, for skiing and I attached myself to the ski teacher because I, I was very, very much in need of a strong male presence, somebody who would be a good um, yeah, father figure, um, somebody to look up to. And I, it sounds weird, but in the end that that was Spider-Man. I read a lot of Spider-Man comics and superhero comics, and I would say that to a certain extent, I raised myself through comic books, through movies, and I picked the values out of these things. Um, and I think I was very good at picking good values rather than like negative um, attributes. And yeah, so that's how I grew up. If you have any more questions about aspects of that, about details or follow-up questions, please let me know in the comment section or um, on Twitter, as I said. Uh, yeah, um, I hope that was interesting. That was just the first part of a series that I'm going to do about my life, uh, different aspects of my life. I hope, I hope you're interested. I hope it doesn't bore you. Um, if it does, then... Sorry, don't watch the videos. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you very much. If you uh, liked it, please press the like and subscribe button. And um, yeah, share it. And thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and talk to you soon. Bye.